In this video, I will show you how to combine several triggers in Google Tag Manager with trigger groups. This will allow you to create more complex tag firing conditions. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel. If you're new here, I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. If you want to fire a tag when a visitor scrolls below the 50% threshold of your website, but you also want to make sure that this visitor has spent at least, let's say, 60 seconds on a page, well, you can do that with trigger groups. So let's take a look. Another really cool feature in Google Tag Manager is the ability to combine multiple triggers into one super trigger, and that is called trigger groups. So let's say that you want to send an event to Google Analytics 4 when a visitor spends at least 60 seconds on your website, but also when that same visitor scrolls at least 50% of the page height. And you could call that event, let's say, engaged user. With trigger groups, that is absolutely possible. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, then go to triggers, and then click new. Here in the trigger configuration, click anywhere and then choose trigger group. Here we can select the triggers, and in the trigger group, it works like this. If all of the triggers in the trigger group are activated on the same page, then an additional event called trigger group is activated as well. And then the tag that is linked to this trigger group is fired. So here we should select two triggers. The first one is when the visitor scrolls below 50% of the page height, and then the timer trigger. So you can click on this plus icon, and then we will actually have to create two new triggers. That is why we will click this plus icon right here, then trigger configuration and select scroll depth, then vertical scroll and 50%. Then let's name the trigger, scroll 50, save. And then let's add the second trigger, which is timer trigger. Click this plus icon right here. Once again, I will click this plus icon, trigger configuration, then timer, and I could insert 60,000 milliseconds, but once again, just for sake of demonstration, I will choose five seconds in total. Then let's name this trigger timer, then limit one. Oh, and also I have to select page path contains slash save the trigger. And now we are ready. So when on the same page, the visitor scrolls below 50% and also spent at least five seconds, but it would be more practical to have, let's say 60 second uh, mark, then this trigger group will be activated. Then let's name the trigger, timer five sec, scroll 50, save. So now let's check what that trigger group looks like in the preview mode. So click the preview mode to refresh it or enable it. Then go to the preview mode and let's wait for five seconds. So first of all, we will see the timer event right here, but the trigger group is still not activated because we have here scroll event, but it is related to 25% mark. However, there is still no event with 50% mark. So if I scroll down, we will get two events. The first one will be for scroll of 50% and the other event will be for trigger group. So I will scroll below. We have a bunch of scroll events because I've reached the bottom of the page. And then also I have the trigger group. So this is an additional event that was pushed by the trigger group auto event listener. And then we have some information right here, even though it is not very useful for us. However, just the fact that we have this trigger group right here is already very useful for us because we will be able to use this in our GA4 tag. So now let's go to Google Tag Manager, Tags, New, Tag Configuration, GA4 Event, choose the Configuration tag, and then let's enter the event name. Here we can enter Engaged User. If you have already some experience with Google Analytics 4, you probably noticed that there is also another event, which is an automatic event, and that event is called user engagement. So you might be tempted to use this event name for this particular event. However, you should not do that because user engagement is a reserved event name and that event name belongs to the automatically tracked events. Therefore, you should not use that in your tag. Therefore, we are using a different event, which is engaged user. Then in the triggering, select trigger group. Finally, let's name the tag. With this event, we are not sending any parameters because well, I just could not think of any, but I mean, if you want, you can include them and then click save. Then click the preview button. And here I have already scrolled. 
Now let's wait for timer. Here's the timer and here is the trigger group. Now if I click it, I will see that my engaged user event tag is fired. And in my GA4 debug view, you will see the event somewhere here. And here it is. Here's the event engaged user. So when you make sure that this is working properly, you should once again submit a new container version. And that is how you can use trigger groups in Google Tag Manager. Remember, if a visitor reloads the page, the trigger group's conditions reset, and that visitor will have to complete all the conditions once again. If you are looking for more ideas on where and how can you use trigger groups, I have a blog post and you will find the link to it below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.